Customs procedures in Senegal have been markedly modernized during the last few years. In 1990, the first version of the Guinea system was launched. Then came the Orbis single window in 2004. The most important quality leap was made in 2011 with the successful implementation of paperless trading procedures that only a few countries around the globe have managed to achieve. What is this about? It actually consists in replacing the physical documents with electronic documents, with the handwritten signature being replaced by the digital signature in a nutshell, such is the concrete translation of this principle. Since the launch of the paperless platform, we have noted a marked improvement. Formerly, all cargo manifests were captured in the custom system, as I showed you earlier. Now our parent company just sends us the electronic files and the CASCA that are directly uploaded onto the Gainda platform with the possibility of making a few corrections in the dates and packaging modes. Thereafter, the manifests are uploaded and shared amongst all stakeholders concerned. From a cumbersome data capture that formerly took us three to four days, we are now spending just half a day. All I can say is that this platform is of a tremendous support. The new cargo community system offers advantages at several levels, first in terms of time gain, as we avail ourselves of the data electronically, which makes us save the time formerly devoted to the physical collection of documents. Secondly, there is a gain in terms of reliability and dispares us an unnecessary double data capture and reprocessing of manifests at the port. This added value is of paramount importance as uh, the bulk of our charges are collected based on the manifest. Now we no longer capture the data, they are simply uploaded from one platform to another. It is quickly done. At each stage, killing agents have the possibility of monitoring the state of progress of their files which means that when a request is sent to a stakeholder through the electronic system, we have a visibility and traceability of exchanges made through the system. There is necessarily an economic impact, as with such a procedure, we are definitely marching towards paperless trading. With this project, the customs administration eliminates red tape in the clearance stations. Therefore, the physical circuits of the documents that were formerly very time-consuming will be eliminated. A customs station like Dakar Port Nor handled during the course of 2011 about 80,000 declarations, which represents an average of 250 to 300 declarations per day and 8,000 requests from users that we had to process. All these procedures would be simplified and then modernized with the paperless platform. The paperless trading platform has a very positive impact, as in terms of rapidness of operations. We have noted that the processing of operations has become more swifter and smoother. Local traders are more and more using the obvious single window that ensures more reliability and a tighter security in addition to the celerity of operations. By comparing the number of operations processed, we handled 651 files in 2010 for a total amount of 13 billion CFA while in 2011. This number moved up to 897 files for an amount of 20 billion CFA, just to show you the difference between the two years. 
Donc vous voyez la différence qui existe entre les deux années. The People's Trade Platform has a very positive impact on the country's economy, notably on customs declarations that are now processed in real time. The inspector now has to retrieve from the data bank all the documents attached to an import declaration form, the related certificate approved by customs as well as the exchange permit, while he formerly had to work on hard copies some of which could be lost in the process. Now with the paperless trade platform, we avail ourselves as a data bank from which we retrieve the documents we need to do our trade-related operations. With the former method, the declaring officer had to go through a cumbersome custom circuit, collect the Willis order after 48 hour long procedures. Once the Willis order was issued, he had to go to various companies to perform formalities that could last long hours. Once the requisite documents are collected, the declaring officer then had to mod to customs offices within the port area for the purpose of goods release. The new procedure spares us this long and time-consuming circuit. If things go well, we can perform the entire goods release chain within a maximum of two to three hours. Toute la procédure d'enlèvement qui nous prenait souvent 24 heures ou 48 heures selon les périodes aussi. Concilier donc collecte des recettes, fluidité du 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 commerce. To reconcile the collection of customs duties with the fluidity of trade while ensuring security to the logistic chain, we cannot do without such a powerful tool as information technologies. There are task visibility contradictory that we have to reconcile and to this end, the use of technology is the most suitable solution. That's why the customs administration has embarked for a long time on a large-scale modernization process that started with the computerization in the early 90s and which continued in 2000 with a new version of the application. Now in 2012, we are launching the penultimate phase of this modernization process. After launching the Guinness system in 1990, which marked the automation of clearance procedures, the advent of paperless process came not as the ultimate phase, because there is a last phase that consists in generalizing the process, which will enable us to have a winning blast. What is paperless trading? It is simply the fact of transforming material documents into digital documents. This entails a time gain, less energy, and mainly a gain in terms of competitiveness for stakeholders and therefore for the national economy. Actually, the paperless trading will generate gains that all stakeholders are expecting in a bid to enable Senegal to have an emerging economy. There are three main results highly expected from this process. Transparency, predictability, security to be more efficient. Therefore, if these objectives are attained, the entire Senegalese economy will benefit from it, as all economic stakeholders will build on the new processes.